So there's been a lot of requests recently for me to make an updated video on the Xbox live streaming tutorial. I had a couple of questions about people wanting to use their phone instead of a PC if they don't have one, as well as questions about how to set up their mic and party chat for the PC stream to here. So I'm just going to go through everything and explain it the best I can. So we're going to start off with the PC tutorial. If you want to watch uh, how to do it on a mobile, there'll be a time on the screen right now. So just skip ahead to that if you don't want to use PC. But I should say that PC is going to be the best option for you in all cases. It's very professional. It allows you to add overlays and all of these features that you see on other streams. So you can't really do that on mobile and I would encourage you to do it on PC as it will be better in performance terms and not require as good of an internet connection too. We're going to need two programs to install. So we're just going to open up the Microsoft Store. It should be in your taskbar right here, automatically pinned. We're going to search for Xbox Console Companion. Now this one should be pre-installed, but you may have to update it. So we're going to update this one. There we go, this is installed. We're going to go back and we're going to also install the beta version of the same app. So now we're just going to click on the start button. We're going to type in Xbox Console Companion. We're going to sign into our account, the same one we use on our Xbox. It will, it will load up a page like this. We're going to hit the button right here and go to connection. Should it pop up like this? We're going to just go through it again to show you. You add a device, you make sure your Xbox is turned on for this. Give it a few restarts if it's not showing up. Hit connect stream it may take a few tries for the actual video to show up there we go hit continue and it may ask you for permission to use a microphone it doesn't really matter you can say yes or no now what we're doing now is just mirror mirroring our console screen to the pc we're not streaming it anywhere we're not live on youtube or anything like that we're just looking at our console screen on our pc so now we want to go up here move our mouse to the top of the screen Hit this full screen button like that. And now you want to make sure that you don't minimize this at all. Because this has to be in the background all the time for the actual software to pick up this display. So it makes your quality set to very high if you're not playing a demanding game. Or if there's a lot of things moving quickly in a battle royale or FPS game, you might want to set it to something like medium or low. It really doesn't make that much of a difference I've seen. So now we're going to open up a browser. And we're going to download a piece of software called OBS Studio. So this is what all streamers pretty much use to go live and add all their overlays and stuff to their stream. So save this and once it's downloaded you're going to open it up like that. I've already got it downloaded. It's actually running right here. So let's show you how it works. So when you first get OBS it's going to look a little something like this. Completely blank. No chat on the side. None of this stuff. Just completely blank. No microphone or anything. So what you have to do is add a new scene. We're going to call this one Xbox Stream. And we're going to add a new source at the bottom as well. We're going to do Game Capture. Hit OK. Capture the specific window. And we're going to choose the Xbox Console Companion app. So that will basically give us our Xbox screen in OBS. So now we just have to resize this. That's really easy. Just go over here. Drag this down to the bottom. And then use your arrow keys to move this along till it lines up perfectly. There we go. If you somehow accidentally lose this like that, all you do is right click it to transform, center to screen. Problem solved. So now we need to decide how to get party chat as well as your microphone included in this stream. There's a few different ways to do it. Let me show you one of them now. So on our Xbox, if we open the settings menu over here, Go to general, then volume and audio output. And there should be an option here called party chat output. One of them is headset, one of them is speakers, and one of them is headset and speakers. So if you want to use the standard headset plugged into your controller, then you have to use the headset and speakers option right here. And you also will need to plug in a second microphone into your PC or use a built-in one. If that doesn't work for you, then I suggest you use your Xbox microphone on your PC. So to do that, we're just going to set our audio output for party chat to the headset, nothing else. Now we're going to open up the Xbox Console Companion Beta app. We're going to sign into this. It's going to pop up a similar page to before. So we're going to actually join the party from the Xbox Console Companion Beta app. 
So let's just try doing that right now. We're gonna go ahead and join party. And now we're in the party in the Xbox app. Subscribe to this Chris in the item store, all caps, and like all the videos. And enjoy. That's some good advice right there. Sometimes this message will show up. All you have to do is just click on something, click out of it, and refresh, and it should show your friends list again. There we go. Something I should mention is that if you have the Windows Game Bar enabled, this option to receive party invites will not be here. So you will not be able to join a private party through the app unless you disable the Game Bar using the script I have linked in the description. You can read through the script if you want, there's nothing harmful in it. You just run that and it will disable the Game Bar and it will actually improve performance in games as well, so I recommend you do that. So once you've got that set up, I recommend you add a webcam as well, that's pretty easy to do. You just do video capture device. Hit OK, choose your webcam that's plugged in, that's my one, and OK, it will pop up on the screen, you resize it. I have mine disabled, so you won't see it here, but it's pretty straightforward. To go live, you go settings, you go stream, and you connect your YouTube or Twitch account, or Mixer if that's what you prefer, and hit OK. And I also suggest you add some overlays and stuff to your stream to make it look a bit cleaner as well as show your donations and subscribers on screen so that people do not feel left out after they subscribe. That's pretty much it for the PC setup. Obviously you wouldn't be playing on the screen because it will be slightly delayed and make it very difficult to get kills in FPS games, stuff like that. So you're going to play on your actual console monitor or, or TV, whatever you're using. I just want to make it very clear that you cannot close this app because if you move this at all it's going to ruin your scaling. If you, if you scale it more like this it's going gonna, it's gonna to really screw up your stream right there. And if you just minimize it, we'll see that if we move our controller, the screen is completely frozen. So do not minimize this. It's just going to crash the app pretty much. So now let's move on to the mobile method. So you can do this from a phone or a tablet. Android will work better, but there should be some ways to do it from iOS. I'm going to use Android though. So there's actually a few different ways to do this from mobile. However, they all require you to stream your phone screen to YouTube. So if you receive a lot of notifications from people, I would probably suggest you don't do this as everyone will end up actually seeing those. So start off on your Xbox, just load into your game of choice. Now we're gonna open the guide, move over twice, go down to start broadcasting. I recommend you set a title because you'll probably get a bunch of mix of viewers as well if you're doing this. All right, so go down here, change the title, set up party chat. I recommend you turn this on and that everyone in your party allows their audio in the stream. Once you've done that, just hit start broadcast. The app we'll be using for this is actually called Streamlabs and this seems to be the best option to go live from mobile. So just go ahead and open this app and you'll want to log into your YouTube account. So once you've signed into Streamlabs, it's just going to walk you through the tutorial here to set up. We're just going to go with the screen option and hit next. I recommend you leave the alert box turned on because you want to have people's donations and stuff pop up. Go ahead and enable these permissions. You won't need to use the camera, but it's good to have it enabled anyway. Go ahead and hit start now right there. And you'll see this is pretty much just like OBS. So once you get to this screen, I recommend you disable the built-in microphone in your phone. And what we're going to do is we're going to go live by hitting that button at the bottom. And then we switch over to Mixer and we load up our stream right here. So we have to make this full screen and we have to leave our phone alone while we, while we do this because anything on screen will actually be recorded and sent straight to YouTube, which we do not want. But basically that's it. Everything you send to Mixer will be sent to YouTube. It's just essentially mirroring it. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I wanna thank everyone for watching and for getting my channel to where it is today. I made the original live streaming tutorial back in 2017 and it blew up which sucked because it was a horrible video. I felt like I owed it to you guys to explain how to do this properly, so I've made this updated video to clear things up. I'm at the point now where my editing software is literally starting to break. I'd like to add more, but it's getting too laggy to actually add more content to it. So of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments. Otherwise, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.